Item Number, SCP-313 SP Object Class, Safe Containment Procedures, SCP-313 SP is to be kept in a secure locker in Site Blank Access is to be monitored and logged by a Level 2 staff member All instances of SCP-313 SP-1 are to be taken care of as if they were normal kittens since instances of SCP-313 SP-1 are harmless and appear to boost staff morale, all staff members are allowed access to SCP-313 SP unless they are allergic to cat hair. Description SCP-313 SP is a box of blank brand Sporkle cereals. The box shows a computer-rendered orange cat in what appears to be an orange spacesuit with a white helmet. The name is prominently presented on the top part of the box, with the description perfectly delicious directly below the name. Depicted in front of the space cat is a filled, turquoise feeding bowl with impressions of triangles similar to the cereal itself. Next to the bowl the box shows a filled jug of milk, and the box prominently features the message skuma free. When poured into an open container together with milk or any milk substitutes before consuming, the consuming person expresses euphoria and, in most cases, expresses a positive opinion about taste and consistency of the cereal. Interestingly, all subjects describe the taste as pop rocks, but as cereal, even if the subject in question never consumed or even heard of Pop Rocks before. After finishing the cereal, either by ingesting it completely or stating satiation in any way, the used container empties completely, leaving no trace of either SCP-313 SP or the used milk, substitute. 13 seconds after the cereal was finished, the subject is transformed into an instance of an orange kitten of approximately blank to blank months of age, designated SCP-313 SP-1. These instances exist for approximate 10 minutes per 100 gram of cereal consumed, with the maximum of 1 hour due to the limited package size of 600 gram. After this period, the SCP-313 SP-1 instances transform back into the original subject. The subject retains no memory of their time as a cat, but state a feeling of relaxation not present prior to the consumption of SCP-313 SP. Any amount of cereal consumed gets replaced in the original box as soon as the transformation into SCP-313 SP-1 instances is concluded. Experimentation Log Test 1 Subject, 1D Class Personnel, D19673, Male Age 45 Setup, 100 gram of SCP-313 SP are placed into a standard breakfast bowl, then 100 milliliter of whole milk are added on top. Subject is tasked to taste the cereal, and is allowed to eat as much as they desire. Subject is additionally tasked to describe both taste and consistency, and provide a general opinion on the meal. Result, subject was nervous at first, but after the first spoonful of the cereal the subject expresses delight and describes the cereal as pop rocks, but as cereal. When asked if the subject wants to continue the meal, they responded positively with childlike enthusiasm. Subject is allowed to finish the meal provided. Subject expresses satiation and after 13 seconds, a puff of smoke envelops the subject for 5 seconds before disappearing again. Subject vanished and was replaced by an instance of SCP-313 SP-1, young orange kitten, which promptly started to explore the surrounding area. After 10 minutes, another puff of smoke appears, surrounding the kitten that had laid down near one of the corners of the room. The kitten disappeared and was replaced by the original D-class subject. Inquires about the location of the D-Class for the last 10 minutes revealed that the subject experienced the situation similar to being teleported. A look into the box of SCP-313 SP showed that the used cereal got replaced. Test 2. Subject, same as in Test 1. Setup, similar to Test 1, but the milk is replaced with soy milk. Result, identical to Test 1 result. Subject expresses excitement over repeated teleportation. Research note. The kind of milk seems to have no influence on the transformation whatsoever. I wonder if the liquid is necessary at all. Dr. T. Test 3. Subject, same as in Test 1. Setup, similar to Test 1, but no milk is added to the cereal. Result, subject expresses disappointment over missing milk, but consumes the contents of the bowl anyway. Subject expresses similar euphoria but after the meal was completed, no transformation occurred. Cereal was still replaced. Research note. It seems like liquid is necessary. Let's see if it can be any liquid. Dr. T. Test 4. Subject, 1D class personnel, D63847, female, age 32. Setup, 
similar to test 1, but the milk is replaced with plain water. Result, subject expresses disdain for research staff for adding water to redacted cereal like some sort of redacted, but starts to consume the contents of the bowl after reminding them that lack of cooperation leads to termination. Subject expresses delight, followed by it's like pop rocks, but as cereal. Subject pauses afterwards and expresses surprise over their own words, requesting information about pop rocks. Subject is persuaded to continue the meal. After ingesting the entire content of the bowl, the subject again requests information about pop rocks. No transformation occurred, the cereal was replaced. Research note. It seems like the exclamation of tastes like pop rocks is part of the anomalous effects. Additionally, it seems like milk or milk substitutes are necessary to trigger the primary effect of SCP-313-SP. Further tests concerning the used liquid are not necessary. Dr. T. Test 5. Subject, 1D class personnel, D67810, female, age 33. Setup, similar to test 1, but the amount of cereal and milk are doubled. Result, subject expresses content about proper redacted food and happily starts consuming the contents of the provided bowl. After finishing the bowl with the expected exclamation, the primary effect triggered like in test 1. The transformation lasted for 20 minutes before reverting. D-Class coincidentally transformed back at the same location they first transformed into the cat. Cereal got replaced as expected. Research note. Double the cereal, double the time. Good to know. Next up would be the transformation itself. Dr. T. Test 6. Subject, same as in test 5. Setup, same as in test 1, with the addition of one standard cat transport box made from regular materials, plastic. SCP-313-SP1 instance gets placed into the transport box until transformation reverts. Result, similar to test 1. After initial transformation into SCP-313-SP1, it is placed into the transport box and the box is locked by a standard locking mechanism present on the box. As the transformation reverts the box is destroyed from the inside out, leaving the subject standing on the destroyed bottom of the box. Subject was not harmed. Research note. That was to be expected, a plastic box is prone to breaking. Let's increase stability a bit. Dr. T. Test 7. Subject, same as test 6. Setup, similar to test 6, plastic transport box replaced with titanium cage measuring 10 times 10 times 10 centimeters. Result, similar to test 1 until reversion. After the reversion typical puff of smoke, data expunged. Research note. Well, let's not do that again. Forensic analysis showed that the transformation happens from the bottom up, we should verify that. Dr. T. Test 8. Subject, 1D class personnel, D49326, male, age 22. Setup, similar to test 7, titanium cage replaced with a plastic bowl with 32 centimeters diameter. SCP-313-SP1 is placed under the bottom-up bowl. Result, as expected until reversion. Subject fully reverts unharmed, the bowl placed on their head similar to a helmet. Subject expresses delight over the hilarious prank research staff allegedly pulled off. Research note. That confirms the bottom-up theory. Now to SCP-313-SP1. Dr. T. Test 9. Subjects, 1D class personnel, D49326, male, age 22. 1D class personnel, D43775, male, age 39. Setup, subject 1, D49326, is brought into the testing room without subject 2's knowledge, D43775. Subject 1 is given a standard bowl filled with 200 gram of SCP-313-SP and 200 milliliter of whole milk. After transformation of subject 1 occurs, Subject 2 is brought into the room and tasked to terminate the instance of SCP-313-SP-1. Result, as expected until transformation of Subject 1 into SCP-313-SP-1. Subject 2 is brought into the room and given a loaded gun. Subject is then tasked to terminate SCP-313-SP-1, which it does without hesitation. Subject 2 is then brought back into their cell. 20 minutes after initial transformation the reversion of Subject 1 occurs, with data expunged. Research note. Okay, transformation is neither protection from, nor permanent after expiration. 
This concludes testing until further notice.